Fur, leather, and wool all involve extreme cruelty to animals. Each fur-trimmed jacket, leather belt, and wool sweater causes suffering to animals. Animals trapped in the wild may suffer for days without food or water in steel jaw traps. Many die of exposure, frostbite, shock, blood loss, infection, or attacks by predators before trappers return and strangle, stomp, or bludgeon them to death. Animals on fur farms spend their entire lives confined to crowded, filthy wire cages where they are exposed to all weather conditions. Fur farmers use the cheapest and cruelest killing methods available, including suffocation, poisoning, gassing, and electrocution. More than half of the fur imported to the U.S. comes from China, where millions of dogs and cats are bludgeoned, hanged, bled to death, strangled with wire nooses, and skinned alive for their fur. Chinese dog and cat fur is often deliberately mislabeled. So if you wear any fur, there's no way of knowing whether you're wearing dog or cat fur. Most leather comes from developing countries like India and China, where animal welfare laws are either non-existent or not enforced. Many of the millions of cows and other animals who are killed for their skin endure the horrors of factory farming, extreme crowding and deprivation, as well as castration, branding, tail docking, and dehorning, all without any painkillers. In India, a PETA investigation found that cows have their tails broken and chili peppers and tobacco rubbed into their eyes to force them to get up and walk after they collapse from exhaustion on the way to the slaughterhouse. At slaughterhouses, where most of the world's leather comes from, animals routinely have their throats slit and are skinned and dismembered while they are still completely conscious after improper stunning, as you can see at these plants. Most of the world's wool comes from Australia, where sheep undergo a gruesome mutilation in which large chunks of flesh and skin are cut from their backsides without painkillers. The open, bleeding wounds left by mule sing often become infected, and many animals die from their wounds. The pain of the mutilation affects the sheep's behavior for months. Every year, millions of Australian sheep who are no longer producing enough wool are crammed onto extremely crowded, disease-ridden export ships and sent to the Middle East. Tens of thousands of them fall ill from injuries, heat exhaustion, dehydration, starvation, or infection. Sheep who survive the terrifying voyage are slaughtered in ways that would be illegal in any developed country. The animals are kicked, beaten, prodded, and dragged from trucks by their ears and legs before having their throats slit while they are completely conscious. Many sheep are tied up and thrown into the backs of cars before being taken to backyard slaughterhouses to be killed. Buying fur, leather, and wool supports many types of cruelty. For the same reason that none of us would ever wear dog or cat fur, we should also avoid wearing other animals' fur, leather, or wool. Animal skins belong on their original owners. Attractive, cruelty-free clothing is available in every price range from just about every clothing retailer. And even top fashion designers like Stella McCartney, Ralph Lauren, and Mark Bauer refuse to work with real fur and offer stylish substitutes for dead-end fashion. With so many fashionable, comfortable options available today, there's no excuse for wearing any animal skins. For a list of retailers that sell cruelty-free clothing, please go to PETA.org. Thank you.